You're so c That makes no- Oh, you found an arcade- The guard seems to have heard a sound, and moves to get a better look. You cleverly use the athletic supporter to sling the rock at the guard. It makes serious contact with the side of his head. We like the way you think. He drops like a lead parakeet. The ripe thud of impact is momentarily sickening. He is perfectly still. Let's see that again! This time, let's look at it closer. Hold it there! I want to see the rocket the guard! Let's do it then! In super slow mo! Now that is more like it. Did you see that blood fly? Heck yeah! You're one sick mofo, Gladys. You're one sick mofo, Blackthorn. The dirt looks to have been trod by countless boots. It's the remain. It's the remains of the guard. You slide the keycard into the slot, then remove it. As soon as the elevator door closes behind you, the platform on which you rest begins to rise. You climb into the shuttle through the rear entrance. Everything looks automatic. The panel is loaded with clusters of system status indicators. There is a power button, an attitude dial, and an ascent thruster button. begins to vibrate as the ascent thrusters ignite. Click above or below the handle to move the shuttle. Click above. Click above or below. There is no horizontal control until me Click above. Click above. There is no horizontal Because you are terminally weak above your shoulders, you guide the ship into the ground. The shuttle begins to vibrate as the ascent thr- You feel the ship begin to lift off. You're off the planet! Good work, Roger! A tone sounds. A soft, synthesized voice notes that adequate altitude has been achieved. Ascent thrusters are now ineffective. The screens are suddenly splashed with the incredible, horrible image of Sludge Vohal. Hello, Roger Wilco. I've been waiting for you. Once again, my subordinates have failed me. Anyway... It looks like you'll be visiting me again soon. Don't bother trying to pilot the vehicle. I have taken control. 
You will be arriving at my command post shortly. I anxiously await your arrival. <laughs> His image is frozen on the screens. The ship changes course as if it had a life of its own. All you can do is hold on. Through the window, you see your apparent destination, Vohal's asteroid. The massive bay doors meet, jarring the entire vehicle bay. As you step down, the shuttle door slams shut behind you. You are quite surprised not to find several of Ohal's guards waiting to greet you. You begin to ponder what the twisted scientist might have in store for you. You have the funny feeling you're being watched. The door. Severe grunting from the stalls indicates that this is an inappropriate time to strike up any conversations. Maybe they've got a case of Vohal's revenge. <laughs> Vohal's revenge? Get it? Darn, another pimple. This is your standard full warm air type hand, tentacle, and antennae dryer. The settings are normal, strong, forceful, hurricane, and not quite enough to dry you. It's stuck on the last setting. It's always stuck on the last setting. I opened one of these things up once. That dial doesn't even do anything. It's just welded onto the front. You have stepped into a porcelain palace of sorts. It is obviously a restroom. A place which, in an interesting fashion, serves to exhibit the physical diversity of the universe. There are fixtures of many types scattered throughout the room, all designed to efficiently collect waste. The sinks are nice sinks, nothing fancy. Faucets sit above them. The walls are covered in an easy-to-hose-down synthetic material. Attached to them in various locations are devices designed to efficiently collect waste products from the life forms which are able to physically match up to them. The door won't. Severe grunting. Vo. You take some of the toilet paper. You never know when it's going to come in handy. I can tell. The writing etched on the wall is in various languages. One large message reads, For a good time, call Jerry. Ask for Leonard. The sound comes from one of the occupied stalls, you think. Suddenly, one of your senses downloads an extremely negative air quality report. 
For some reason, the name John springs to mind. The writing etched on the wall is in various languages. One large message reads, For a good time, call the dancing monkey. The writing etched on the wall is in various languages. One large message reads, Here I sit, lonely hearted, had to bolt, but merely darted. The writing etched on the wall is in various languages. One large message reads, Scott, is it done yet? Get out of the head and back to work. Christmas doesn't move. The writing etched on the wall is in various languages. One large message reads, Sir Graham cross-dresses. The writing etched on the wall is in various languages. One large message reads, Here I sit, lonely hearted, had to bolt, but merely darted. The writing etched on for a good time call. Pressing this button will, wait for it, exit you from this screen. Genius gameplay, that. It's you, Roger Wilco, doing what you do best. Nothing. The toilet paper dispenser is of the single sheet variety. It does seem to be mounted high up on the wall, though. Maybe this stall is for taller aliens? These are the doors to Vohal's own private monolith burgers. He's like Richie Rich, except he's evil. It's a depressed looking robot. Hi there, robot. Can you help me? I'm too depressed. What have you got to be depressed about? Working in a monolith burger was a goal in life for me. Life? Don't talk to me about life. Brain the size of a planet, and here I am working in a monolith burger talking to Roger Wilco. Yowza! Sorry to bother you. No, you're not. Garish red bench seating screams at your eyeballs from the left side of the room. Between each set of two benches sits a sideboard of suspect sanitation. Wait, what was that last part? The sideboard of suspect sanitation, secured to the side of this squalid slop saloon. You're speechless in Families just love to Hey there, could you tone the color down for those of us that don't have a contrast control implant for their optical nerves? Families love Monolith Burger! It's a weird, purple-looking alien. Hi, I'm Roger. Roger Wilco. The alien grunts at you. Hi, I'm Roger. Roger Wilco. The alien grunts at Are you tired of hauling uranium out of Urbanus 36? Are you tired of sweeping floors on your spaceship? Employment opportunities at Monolith Burger. Inquire within. Apparently, this raised platform is intended for the corpulent presence of only Vohal himself. This is a Monolith Burger walkthrough window, sans window. 
Ever since the Intergalactic Pollution Act, it has been a government requirement that there be an equal alternative to a drive through service in all fast food restaurants. So they place these things here. It acts a lot like the counter a few inches away, but it's much more inconvenient. Apparently, this raised platform is intended for the corpulent presence of only... This is your standard ashtray. You grab the small lighter, which is on the table. You push the service button, but no one waits on you. It's probably working, mind you. It's just the people who work here don't really care about their jobs. Wait a minute. There's something stuck in the slot. Wow, someone left behind a perfectly good monolith burger. It must be your lucky day. Not so fresh feeling. And perhaps what you need is a big belcher combo from monolith burger. With the big belcher combo, you're sure to free up any of that excess gas which may be existing in your digestive sense of sense of system. Hi there, robot. Can you help me? I'm too depressed. What have you got to be depressed about? Working in a monolith burger was a goal in life for me. Life? Don't talk to me about life. Brain the sun. Yowza! No, you're not. Too glow. Why don't you eat here? Don't you listen? It's just a song. It has no significant meaning. It's pointless. Just like a national anthem. No one cares about it. It's just something to sing. Bring your meal. Please enjoy. Two glow queef patties. Greshnel mas lettuce knees. Trick it upon your specially needed bun. Why don't you eat here? Don't you listen to those lyrics you're singing? It's just a song. It has.
I'll get naked if you get naked. You go first. The metal plate on this device reads Boredom Monitor. Cool! Another access card. You're getting to see a lot of these. It's a force field. It's there to stop the bad guys getting out.